Well, enough of that. Alright, Hamlet Machine is a play written by Heiner Muller and is loosely based on Hamlet by William Shakespeare. I am Shakespeare! The play itself can be best described as six and a half pages of weird, making one think that Muller may have taken a sip from the wrong punch bowl when he wrote it. Fetch me another one! The play is filled with unusual environments and situations. Uh, w w where am I? Bits of gore and violence. Ah! And material from a certain other subject. Yes! When you read through this play, you will find it to be like nothing else you have ever read before in your life. And you will likely be a bit confused. Upon completion, you'll likely be a little troubled and not know what to do next. You might scream, cry, throw the book across the room, or even rip your teeth out of your own head! <laughs> However, despite all the unusual dialogue and crazy happenings, there is indeed a method to the madness, and themes do present themselves. Do I still have your attention? <laughs> you listening now? Good. Cause this is the important part. What I felt to be the most predominant theme was one of death. Muller makes a number of scenes in Hamlet Machine depict death as some sort of statement, exciting sideshow, or some theatrical act. For example, roughly halfway through the performance, Hamlet enters the University of the Dead, and sees bodies hanging from the rafters that are horribly mangled and disfigured. Despite this, Hamlet simply observes them like they're museum pieces. Ooh, shiny! Ophelia also presents her own version of death to the world in her very first scene as she destroys everything that she owns and walks through the street drenched in her own blood for all to see. Most importantly, Hamlet also discusses the death of society during his longest monologue. He speaks of how citizens' demands are never met by the government, and then those citizens become rebellious. The government then must take aggressive actions to protect itself regardless of the costs, describing a soldier in the machine gun turret as a man who is empty underneath the helmet. He feels nothing. The characters themselves are equally depressing. Hamlet feels that he does not have what it takes to be a man, so he says he wants to be a woman to hide from what the world expects from him. Ophelia is in an even worse position. By the play's end, we see her wrapped in bandages, showing that she will never heal from what the wounds of society have inflicted upon her. She is doomed to suffer for all eternity. While Heiner Muller was describing communism in Hamlet Machine, there is something here that all must consider. Society can destroy people with its demands and stereotypes. Men must get jobs to support their families, while women stay at home and take care of the children and cook dinner every night. These kinds of classic images don't always match the desires of everyone. Therefore, conflict arises. A war with society. Wounds suffered from this fight are slow to heal. Oh, things were getting kind of depressing there, but we made it. By the way, Thank you for taking your time to watch my movie. I hope I was able to teach you something while still making you laugh. Again, thank you for your time. Goodbye.